You have until Sunday to see the play recorded in Hollywood. It's the story of an unusually ambitious and resourceful South LA music entrepreneur of the 1950s. We spoke to the director and also the family of John Dolphin of Dolphins of Hollywood. A really wonderful thing happened where at the corner of Central and Vernon, they renamed it Dolphins of Hollywood Square. And to be here in 2016 and for him and his business and what he did and what he stood for is finally recognized is a momentous day. The sky is the limit. John Dolphin will be the biggest name in music the world will ever see. Tonight is historic. It's a Hollywood opening for Recorded in Hollywood, which is an original musical that is about the story of John Dolphin. He was the beginning instrument of integration in Los Angeles, much to the chagrin of the police chief at the time. Now that you're open all night, are you concerned about the police? We're just trying to have a good time here, Leon, and this is just business, and hopefully the police will see it that way too. John Dolphin was 10 years prior to Barry Gordy. You are leading the cause for integration on Central. These are good kids, Leon. Black, white, brown, tan, purple, man, I don't care. In his record shop, Dolphins of Hollywood, which was located in Central and Vernon in 1948 is when he opened it. So that's the story and all the details that you get tonight. And help us throw away the key! Artists from all over the country would come to be a participant in his shop. He would play their records on the air. Kids would come, they would dance all night. And this party never ends, so throw away the key! He went to jail many times. They shut down his shop several times. I've made my mistakes, and I'll carry those with me for the rest of my life. But the biggest mistake would be to lie down and do nothing about this discrimination on Central. Yeah. The race mixing of that time was way ahead of his time, and my grandfather embraced it, and he, he, he everybody was welcome into his shop. I'm no social activist. I'm a businessman chasing a buck. That's it, nothing more. Can I quote you on that? I don't care what you write, but if you go snap a photo, please get my goods up. <laughs> We've had so many people come talk to us about, I used to work for your dad when I was 18 years old. This is change, John. Change is good, but change is also scary. Change. Man, don't talk to me about change. Change is what jingles in my pocket. It's just a one Wonderful, wonderful show to see, and I'm so glad everyone came out tonight. I don't want to spoil it for you. I need you to show up and see it. Okay.